adjust myself. I was like, gosh, I don't want to be all revealing. Okay. So a couple of weeks ago, I posted about how, actually it was a couple of months ago. This was like in, I think it was in May that someone had gotten a hold of our credit card number from Walmart money card and from, um, it's like a green dot card through Walmart money card. And, uh, they had been in a different city and decided to, I don't know how they got our credit card information because me and my husband both had our cards. And so I guess they skimmed it and they used it to purchase something at a gas station or a convenience store to make sure it worked. And then they used it to purchase uh, $30 worth of Burger King. And we love Burger King. I know some people don't, but we do. But we're not purchasing $30 worth of Burger King. Um, and especially in Brooklyn, New York. So I immediately called the card when I noticed that it happened and I let them know. Um, they never, they didn't help me over the phone. They just told me I had to write, hand write to them and tell them like these charges are fraudulent. They ha You have to list the vendor, the name, all the information. So I put all the information in and they're saying you have 60 days. Everywhere on the website says you can do it from the website. Everywhere on the app says go to the website. So I did, I jumped through all the hoops. I hand wrote a letter to them and said, hey, here, here are the charges. Me and my husband, we live in Kansas City. We've never been to Brooklyn, New York. We both have our cards. So we know that someone has skimmed our information and used it. So they, so they gave me a number. I followed up on the, the number. Long story short, it's been since May. And I, and I was just like, where is our money? Where's our resolution? So I called them today and they were just like, um, our fraud team determined that it was a valid charge, that we're not going to refund you the money um, because we, we determined that it's a valid charge. And I said, how? And she was just like, well, we sent you a letter saying how we're not going to refund you the $35 because it's valid. And so I pull, I was so nice and polite this whole time. I said, you know, I went through everything that you asked me to do to prove we were in Kansas City. We still had our cards. You know, we, we did all the things you asked us to do to prove that it was a, va a valid you know, fraudulent charge. And now you're telling me that we in fact were in Brooklyn, New York, purchasing Burger King and at a gas station when we've never been, like we sent you everything. She said, yeah, I said, cancel the cards, cancel the cards. Don't, we're not going to, we're not going to put anything else on it because they're prepaid debit cards. And the thing that bugs me is that I've used these prepaid debit cards for gosh, at least 10 years I've had a Walmart money card or a, or a green dot card. And I've never had anyone steal my information and never had this. And, but yeah, so I would say this is just based on my experience. If they're like this for $35, they're not willing to, and you, I've sent everything, um, that we did not make this purchase. We did not do the things. If they're willing to do that for $35, I'd say do not, don't bother. Don't use their cards. Don't use their products. Definitely don't use it for a direct deposit because someone was able to skim our credit card number and use it to make purchases in a different city. And they have no no recompense in order to try to re resolve it. And I, I waited two months for $35 that they said is valid and I'm never just never going to get back. So that was my experience. Um, I'm sh and again, this was 10 years using this, using these cards. So I'm really, I'm sad that, that, that happened, but just don't even bother. Go to a credit union use PayPal. PayPal always makes sure you, you get your money back if something happens. Use an actual bank. Bank of America is, is great, I'm told. So I just, I'm, I'm mad. 
I wanted my 35 bucks. <laughs> and I just wanted a resolution because I had gone through everything to prove that it wasn't us. So, so that's me. That's my story. Um, frustration. I really wish they would have done more to, to help out, but nope. So, okay. Bye.